I I could hold down this four, and I guarantee if we told all the fans, some might appreciate it if you took a break for five weeks. Excuse me, sir. No, I'm just saying. Are you trying to fucking replay? No, not at all. Hold on. But I'm saying. Hold on. I guarantee you. Hold down the four. Yeah, I guarantee you. If we told the fans, hey, Brian's shooting Wonder Woman 2, so he's not going to be in town for five weeks. So it's going to be Brennan and guest <laughs> Theo Vaughn. Uh, so what we're going to do <laughs> oh, is it's going to be Brennan and Theo for God. five weeks. Now, I don't want to say there'd be an uproar of happiness, but I think everyone would understand. And then I think everyone would understand when you get that text two weeks in that says, hey, bro, don't bother coming back. <laughs> I'm. I'm hurt and I'm slowly <laughs> being replaced. No, I'm just saying, for real, though. If, Take your hands up. Don't ever touch me like that again. If, T- don't touch me. Do you have your surround? Well, well, that was Frank Grillo, but good news. Theo Vaughn just stepped, stopped in to say hello. He goes, I'm just going to bother you guys. And he's here to do just a couple things. I guess he's going to do a couple of impressions. Theo, uh, can you do, I think you have a Chris D'Elia impression. Did you just burst in here? da da ma da that's, that is that that's, Chris Chris that's so good dude jeez that's so <laughs> man is that chris is it, it is chris, chris here my his hair's longer than mine and it's different. true i swear to god for a second i thought that was chris D'Elia. <laughs> i was so on it now what what would be can you do an impression of like say me let me see brian callens yeah brian callens <laughs> <laughs> Romania, uh, my cousin, well, the beekeeper. Yeah. That, God, that looks, that's, man, fucking, I don't, that's amazing. Romanian beekeeper, I say a lot. I thought I it was Brian for a second. I thought, are there two cows in this yeah. room? Why were you going like this with your fingers? You were there pushing two? them up in the air like that. Holding the world up. Oh, oh okay. somebody's got to do it because uh, Brendan. Uh, like, that's so good. <laughs> it's almost like Andy Kaufman. What, dude, Chris that's, always does it. He's like nine yeah, legs like, when yeah. he comes in here. He's like an You're octopus. Like, yeah. my God, that's nah. exactly what he does. Yeah. <laughs> Hold my leg, Brendan. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a Brendan impression? Let me see. Um, this is so impressive. I mean, it's spot on, dude. Yeah. I ain't mad at you. <laughs> Are you mad about it? Wow. Dude. Black rifle coffee. <laughs> Fancy shoes. <laughs> well, that was, that was dude. I'll dude. Be Cobbs this Friday and Saturday. Is that me? Yes. Is that dude, me? Dude, that's yeah. it. Do you, do you feel like you just heard your dialogue? Dude. Like, Brendan? I, you, you, go, you should put on Saturday Night Live now. Because you're like, rrr, rrr, like that, which is dude, how you speak. I'm, I'm just joking, too, man. I'm just joking. Where, bro, bro that's saying. how I dress, bro. Dude, you look like 21 Jump Street. You look like you got fucked up. <laughs> On 21st Avenue. That's what you look like, guy. Dude, Dude, you look like Lenny from Of Mice and Massimo. You look like a fucking... You look like a guy that will not retire from Hot Topic. That's what you look like, bro. I look like the 50-year-old who just works at Hot Topic. Oh, yeah. Dude, you look like the 50-year-old vegan, bro. Get your life together, man. Dude, you came back from Nashville and you changed, man. I did? Yeah, you changed, bro. It might just be the reflection off this hot strap right here. Here, that dude. Strappy old dude, strap. Keep your life together, dude. Keep I don't have any friends sending me peaches and shit. Yeah, well, you got a lot of issues, man. I have issues. Yeah, you ever seen yourself? Yeah, you might be right. Hundred percent, bro. Dude, you know you're slowly turning into fucking. I mean, your hair like at first was a mullet. Now you just have full blown a chicken. Oh, this is Swayze, dude. Yeah, it's Swayze, bro. So many people stop and ask about the hair and whatever's with the hair. I could be pushing like a senior citizen in a wheelchair, and they're like, "Oh, who's this bitch?" You yeah. know. Yeah. And he'd be like, I'd be like, what are you even asking for? Like, oh, I saw the hair and then just respected this old person, you know? Like, the hair is it's, turning it's, people, a lot it's, of people on to joy. I can, you think joy? Because, like, I think of, like, lesbian stepmom. Vibes. Like, a little bit. Like, a little bit of a southern lesbian stepmom. Dude, you, I think it's dope, bro. No, I don't know why you hate on that. I think oh. it's dope. Like, I feel like if they're doing a sitcom on ABC <laughs> no. and you walked in on a dress, they'd be like, this is your new stepmom and she's gay. <laughs> 
<laughs> and people are like, oh, that's cool. Dude, you look right now. Grow bro, just you a mustache. You can get a job doing construction in West Hollywood for the rest of your life 100%, right now. 100%, dude. I, dude you, you look, look like with Elmer Fuddrucker, bro. Look at you, dude. You look like a dude that eats burgers and just carries around a fucking shotgun. You look whole, Have you seen? Some of you guys are probably listening on radio. You can't see this man. Radio? This yes. isn't fucking good. <laughs> Whatever. Radio? On ham radio, too. <laughs> oh, gray squirrel to woodchuck. Gray squirrel to woodchuck. Dude, you look like somebody who... Like, you, bro, look at that Dude, shirt. You look, I know. Bro, look at your hair. Bro. Are you shitting me? You look like you, you work at like, Orange Julius and fuck kids out the back. <laughs> oh, dude. Are, I would never touch a kid. About? And I have worked at a smoothie place, and I would never do anything wild to a kid. <laughs> and I've babysat overnight three times. Dude, I would not let you babysit my kid. Well, that's fine. Actually, I would. So... I wouldn't want. I'm but not going to put watch your, in a your kid, tail. huh? You would have put your wife in a fuck. ponytail, son, because I'll be in the hose. You feel me? <laughs> Look at these fucking chopsticks, boy. These fucking karate makers right here, bro. Look at Chin fucking perked up when he saw these fucking stone cold killers hit the air, son. Bro, you need to get back on that that old New Orleans sauce. You need to no. get back on that deck of D ball. You seem like the toughest bitch at a Claire's boutique, dude. Have you fucking <laughs> seen this guy? Damn. <laughs> wow, bro. Bro, you told the story of hey, you and you talking and this about. Gay fucking bus boy. Dude, are you talking fucking, about? You inject each other on the side of the highway and then fuck each other. This and we're just supposed to <laughs> breeze past <laughs> that like it's normal? Just because you're in the south on the side of a New Orleans highway sucking each other <laughs> off. It ain't you cool, look like an ogre that it took. You look like a, an eight-year-old boy got an infection from an ogre, and that's where he's at right now, bro. <laughs> Dude, you, your haircut is from 1989. 89? Bro, look you have... A motherfucking mullet, son. Yeah, dude, and I have the future the of back. hair. And this thing is anything you look, you look like Macho Man Randy Savage if he had AIDS. Like, oh, what are you talking about, dude? Fuck, bro. Macho Man Randy Tragic, you bro. You look like the warrior if he just sucked dick. Like, oh, come on. Like, like that was his workout. Dick. No, he sure didn't. Watch no. your, dude, watch your tone when you talk about <laughs> the warrior. You, you just talked about I'm saying him. you look like him if... He were into sucking dick. Man, you're bait and switch, dude. Dude, you're, you look you're, like Lenny from a Mice and Mossy mode, dude. You need to get your body and <laughs> life together. Jesus Christ, dude. You have bro, fucking you look, band you look, aid. <laughs> Hold on. You have bro. women's. Don't touch me, dude. And this is the third time that's happened in here. Dude. Five times, dude, I'm calling the police, dude. I will dude. hold you down and shave your head. Dude, I, I look, I grew up in the molester belt. Five times you touch me and I'm calling the cops, bro. Five, you know what I'm saying? five out of five? We'll give you a couple of mulligans. For four? Bro. We'll for give you four, a couple hand four mulligans. Ten, it was a mistake. Bro, five? five I'm just saying going. you have women's band-aids on the back of your feet. Dude, right these are major band-aids for, yeah, no, for blisters. Yeah. Are you ready for the Emmys? Bro, How many skateboards inside? did that haircut come with? Have you seen this fucking haircut? <laughs> Unbelievable. Skateboards? Yeah. Both of my seven and five year old nephews. Dude, now, let me ask you: that. with that lesbian haircut, do you get a discount on Subaru Outbacks? How's that work? No, are they, they just look. enforced green, or how's that work? Dude, this haircut's phenomenal. I think. So. No, I'm not mad at it, bro. You got no fortune. <laughs> this guy's at worst, bro. Oh, you're gonna die soon. You have AIDS, and be like, I don't have AIDS. You're like, AIDS isn't a big deal, dude. You shouldn't really be worried about it. You know. You already look like you look like all of the who's the Fratellis from. Uh, you look like every one of the Fratellis. Who's the Fratellis? From Dude, you look Goonies. Like, you look like, you, you look like, you look like you'd move to Vietnam and sell rats. Like you look like a guy on the side of the river that would sell rats. Dude, you look like somebody that's going to audition to be one of the bugle boys. The, the, who's the, who are the people that rob Scrooge McDuck? Oh, who were those guys? The big guy with the, the Beagle Boys. The Beagle Boys. Yeah, dude, you look like the, the Beagle fifth Boys. Beagle Bring boy. that up. They were dope. Yeah, duck They were dope. Yeah, they were dope, man. Costume. There they are, the Beagle Oh, boys. my God, you old. definitely look like they one were, of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, That's my bro. squad, bro. The Beagle Boys. Damn, Good reference, bro. dude. Who seems more racist, you think, me or Brendan? That's really what we're trying to figure out here. <laughs> I'd probably say Theo by a long shot. Really? But yeah. you're wearing camo, dude. This and isn't... Bro, you're in camo, Woogie. These are... You have camo capris on. These aren't capris You have lesbian pants. capris on. They were... With some, with some Under Armour shoes with Nike socks... Camel women capris 
and a woman's haircut. Dude, what are you talking bro, about? What fucking bro? You, you have a you, haircut you can only get from being a cafeteria, a female cafeteria worker who's abusing steroids. Are you blatantly me? on bro, the job, you look dude? Like, if you broke, bro, if, you look like you make sloppy joes, dude. Me, like the, you look like you make the best sloppy joe in LA right now. You look like you raised two kids named Sloppy Joe, dude. If dude, you fucking lost you look both like of you your adopted arms, adopted two girls named Diane. Bro, look at your I, ear, bro. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about, dude? I'm growing this for a kid, dude, who no, has cancer, no, but no. also has a four wheeler. That kid's gonna be cool as fuck, bro. Locks for lust, bro. That's what I'm growing this shit out Locks for. for a nine year old with no, with fucking, who's definitely low in the chromosomes, but who's down to fuck and not afraid to go into five wheel drive, bro. Yeah, I'll cut my hair for that, dude. Well, dude, I'm just saying, you look like a, a blatant lesbian cafeteria worker. You have women's blend in with the fucking leg. Dude, I didn't create these safety pads. Dude, I didn't create these fucking. Fucking band aids, <laughs> band aid did, bro, about? and they're racist, right? <laughs> I didn't do that. I just want to cover up my blisters, bro. Your blisters, you even has your blisters, lesbian dude. mom haircut, women, and your judgment and your racist ways, pizza insulting, hut, baby. All, insulting the whole Fighting the Kid team, pizza because hut. they look different than Domino's. you. Domino's, what is it? It's a like board game for children. You're in there eating. What a fucking creep. <laughs> There's kids in there playing games, and you're in there looking for fucking black olive and mushroom. What a pervert. That's what I'm saying. When you die, get those fucking, to get the hands up. Dude, I want want a wig, though. Huh? I want a wig, bro. You already got a wig, bro. (laughs) Okay. Dude, dude. you can't talk about somebody's hair. Bro, you have the pre adolescent haircut. 70s haircut, bro. Bro, I got You're the only person I know with this haircut. That's dude, a lie. I got the power in the front and I got the glory in the back, dude. I'm just yeah. a sharecropper, brother. Dude, you God's got the lesbian this. in the back and the dick in the front. Who's growing your you hair, dude? You got a dickhead haircut, bro. Who is growing your hair, bro? God. Oh, my God. God's growing my no hair, bro. No way, son. Dude, if you, if your fucking haircut was a choice on Great Clips, no one would take it <laughs> oh, ever. Bro. No one besides lesbians. Oh, dude, I'll beautiful ta- lesbians. I'll take the Theo cut. Lesbians, dude, right now. And you, the crazy thing is you are all, I might have the hair, you have all the other elements of a fucking real lesbian, dude. Do you have the hair and the face? No. You You're look- telling me your nose doesn't look lesbian. My nose, I have a nose of a brother, dude, a straight up oh, brother. No brothers I've ever a seen. A chubby black Greek guy. No. Yeah. <laughs> chubby Greek Little guy. Little Cesar, bro. You feel me? Pizza <laughs> fucking pizza, bitch. Oh, wow. Okay. Little Cesar, dude. Little Cesar. I want to know where that, where the fucking black Greek boy's at. That little Cesar. Little Cesar onward, I dude. I wouldn't buy the sweater. Do you even know? Way. I wouldn't buy the sweater. You wouldn't? No. Really? You wouldn't buy the sweater? You seem like a guy that would buy no, I would anything, bro. I would not buy You seem that. like the dude that buys everything, bro. <laughs> Every day I see you have a, yeah, a different pair of fucking shoes on, look like British shoes or something. Like, is this guy's feet live in Britain and his body lives here in America? <laughs> Maybe. All kind of fucking yellow. But, but do, you, do you know where this comes from? You know, wheelchair, Air Forces or whatever, all this wheelchair shit you have, Air dude. Forces. Yeah, Benedict Arnold, X-9s or whatever, all this shit. I want some Benedict Arnold x These orange candy corn fucking... You know, uh, keyless entry, fucking low tops. Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Bro, you have a fucking <clears throat> Joanna Sacagawea fucking These, wristband on right now. Where someone the made fuck this for me. Did you? Yeah, she a was Native an American. A Native American made that for you. Yeah, you'll wear anything. Anything anyone gives you, you'll wear. Fucks with is uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Oh yeah, you and him look like brothers. Oh dude, <laughs> dude, Would you, hey. Can you? Is am- that your dad? <laughs> Is that dad, dude? <laughs> bro, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Bro, don't fucking I- touch me after you're a dick, dude. <laughs> Bro. Same fucking dick tag. <laughs> Leave your dad. No way, bro. <laughs> your dad's on the <laughs> That just hit me. He dyes his hair, dude, and he, he has asthma too, and he uses the n word. <laughs> Uh, Does he see I mean, so we have a couple things in common, but that's <laughs> it, bro. Bro, you guys look identical. No way, dude. Are you shitting me? His wife looks like a fucking nightmare. Oh you talking God. about tits? You talking about tits? <laughs> yeah, it's like her stomach just fucking hooked to her chest and then uh, then got a divorce. No, looks, that's what it looks like. It looks like. like when she eats, it just goes her titties. Yeah, yeah, dude. Like every meal she's ever had, like her it tits just fills up her yeah. tits. <laughs> like her tits are taking shits, probably. Look at that. Oh my God. Dude, it looks like a 50 things. year old dude's ass on her chest. That's insane. Bro. Don't reach over here, you fucking bloated Italian. Dude. You look like an Italian dude that drowned and then just still lived. 
You talk about a zombie? <laughs> yeah, you fucking look like a, I was a like Sicilian a zombie? zombie, dude. Bro. <laughs> bro. Jesus, bro. What's Dog what? the Bounty Hunter like to us? Bro, you look like a Persian dude who's staring straight. Dude, do you get any royalties? Bro, you look like a Persian dude on Test 200 that's staring straight into the sun. You can't even open your fucking eyes, dude. Dude, you're out of your you mind. Get... I'm about to put quarters in your face, bro, and dude. play your ass. And <laughs> play your ass. What? Dude, you look like on a Friday night, you and your dad, Dog the Bounty Hunter, go get a red box and jack off together. <laughs> Okay, I'll agree to some of that. Look at that she girl. looks. Bro, get some pants for your tits. Can you see this lady's tits, bro? Dude, I just call her tits. They're the him. biggest titties you've ever seen in your life. It's just a head and tits, and then two toothpick legs at the bottom. Like if a kid, drew, she looks like a third grade drawing yeah, of a yeah. fruit. <laughs> like two grapefruits and a stick at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking yeah. eyes. She looks like a drawing of a way perverted kid. It know? looks like if you asked your four year old to fucking draw a troll with titties. <laughs> oh my God. But oh, yeah, you, you got to get him on the show, dude. <laughs> he would be awesome. He would be, dude. You guys call him up for us. What do you mean? You guys, I don't have a bat signal. Oh, you know, fuck, like I just put a big other. light with a can of dip in the air and he'll show up. You're out of your mind, bro. You're out of your mind, bro. Uh, Dude, she hey, looks you like, know what I love? Huh. He's from where I'm from. He's from Aurora. From Hawaii, huh? From, no, he's, <laughs> that's the thing. He's from Aurora, but he lives in Hawaii. Yeah. And now he's always like, hey, bro. It's like, whoa, we don't talk like that in Denver. But he's been there for like... A year or so, and he just took over their language. He really? got super tan. Yeah, people love him out there, dude. Yeah, didn't he get in trouble or some shit? Yeah, he said the N word to his daughter on the phone one yeah. time. He called her an N word? No, I was talking about some her he boyfriend. Said, yeah, he said it once. Um, and then got fired? Yeah. Yeah, I can't have that, can we? Yeah, you can't have it, man. Yeah, his hair's better than yours, though, man. That's cool. That's goals, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta have goals. <laughs> goals, bro. You gotta have goals, <laughs> dude. You know his wife just grows hair for him, and he fucking hooks it in in the back. Yeah. Do you also have those glasses? Like, what the fuck's he doing? We with do those have glasses? the same nose, I think. Dude, you guys are very similar. It just hit it me. is a little similar. We were talking about reality shows, and I love Dog the Bounty Hunter. They replay him on A&E. I watch him nonstop. Well, then he must be making some money, or they are. somebody Residuals? I don't know. I bet at a certain point, he probably did have some residuals, because it was all based on him. Look dude. at those tits again. Get down to the blue. T- the blue. Dude, go to him with his shirt off. Oh, yeah. Damn, dog. Damn, that's her. <laughs> Is that her? <laughs> Look at his hair. Wow. Damn. Dude, I bet... Uh, I bet he takes crazy dumps too, bro. Yeah, I bet. I bet he shits out of a window. That guy's insane. I bet he shits in criminals' mouths. Oh, like that's his shit, man. I bet he shit. I bet he swims out of the ocean and just shits into an alligator's mouth, bro. <laughs> that guy's a wild cat. He's a wild cat, dude. I uh, man, that's a good show though. If you haven't seen it in a hot second, look wow. at titties. That's unbelievable. Dog and tits. Yeah, that's what they should call it dog and tits it should be that dog should be the, the bouncy show. hunter that's what it should be dude because those <laughs> things are fucking bouncing dude God. if i was a kid i would never grow up if i had those tits dude, me, in my mouth me ever I, or or you'd be like <laughs> six eight yeah. and just jacked just sucking on them tits at nine those, years those, old those you'd kids, be six eight hundred yeah. percent those could feed a goddamn village <laughs> just one titty enough for everybody dude you could put out a fire with milk with those fucking tits dude that's insane I bet she is a savage in the sack. Oh, what sack, bro? <laughs> I'd put that lady bag, in a so body I'm... bag, dude. There's, an, I don't know if I could fuck that lady, man. <laughs> oh, you could. You get them big old things out, slap in your face. She starts saying, come on, boy. Come on, Theo. Come on, son. Let's do it. <laughs> Why does she have a man's voice? <laughs> That's how she talks. Oh, I hope not. And then, and then she, she has her tits. She's squ- squishing those Fat tits, but she, she, can't lift she has on tits. those black gloves. She always wears the fingerless black gloves oh, yeah, dude. and has her nails proper done. Yeah. Her nails are real proper. Oh, that's a good All point. the time, yeah. her nails are proper. Like that 60-year-old dude at the gym who wears those yeah. fishnets. Yeah, she's still rocking that shit. Dude, I used to rock those fishnets when I first started working out. They were dope. Can we see her in the pink right there, Chen Diamon? In the, the pink, bar- and he's in the blue. Them? Yeah. Yeah. Just a oh shit my God, shot. bro. He looks They're like morphing a little the person. Same person. They're morphing into the same Look person. Look at that fucking hair, though. That is beautiful. It's like when they eat, it goes to his stomach and goes to her titties. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, they have a dual. It's like a, a bipartisan <laughs> digestive system. Yeah, yeah, it's just one in the same. You know, some people start Ooh. to look like their dogs. Mm-hmm. Their his stomach starting to look like her too. Yeah, she starts to look like her dog, the bounty hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine being a bounty hunter in Hawaii. First of all, nobody could go anywhere. It's a fucking island. How can you, you not catch yeah, them? How can you not? The fucking, it's the easiest place to catch criminal ever. Yeah, bro. It's a small island. He's like nowhere. He's lazy. No, I mean, that's fucking lazy. That's, that's like being a wrangler in a, in a, uh, it's like, like in a hamster cage. It's like fishing at PetSmart. Yeah. Like, it's fucking easy, man. <laughs> That's in Denver. It was a beast for him. So he said, fuck this. Let's take to the <laughs> islands. He's bad at his job. He had to go uphill once. I, I never, I never understood that show. Like if dog, the bounty hunter, he has, he's not a legal fucking officer. Yeah, There's no, he's no badge or nothing that you don't have to stop. Uh-uh. Some yeah, motherfucker comes to your house. Going. They put up with it. I'm like, fuck you, bro. No, call the cops. You fucking yeah, moron. Yeah. Get your big titty wife out of my face. Yeah. What the fuck is this? I'd be like, are these cameras? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, I'm a criminal. I'm a fucking yeah. escape <laughs> convict. Are you shitting me? You have tasers. Yeah. How about I shoot both of you? I never understood. I think he gets the people to look at the wife's tits. And then and he that's arre- when he gets them. And then he handcuffs them. Oh, yeah. And then when they're in the car, they give him that Jerry Seinfeld, like, my one minute. They give yeah. him the speech. Like, yeah. you know you're not doing the right thing, brah. <laughs> like, you know you don't want to go down this road, brah. Yeah, man. And then, he, then he, he was a drug addict, too. Was he really? Yeah, so then he's like, I've been there, brah. I've been there. You don't want this, brah. What? He keeps saying brah <laughs> to everyone. I love I celebrate him, man. Dude, I got to watch him again, man. <clears throat> yeah, you got to, man. You guys look similar. I got to get back into that. We don't look that similar, but I wouldn't mind having being jacked as him in the future. I wouldn't mind having more abs, though. Yeah, yeah you might. Well, his titties starting to sack a little bit, but... <clears throat> But God, that, she just needs to get her tits out of our face. Um, those things are. I mean, keep, what, what is that? Is that a titty? Are you a titty guy? I don't know, man. These <laughs> days, it's you know, you you know, there's just you don't have to pick these days. I don't think there's just some tits are just cr- like I didn't like whenever they had like a big girl back in the day, and she'd be like, "Oh, I got these tits," and it's like, "Nah, no. that's just kind of weight." Yeah, yeah. Now that's you just. just it's proportionate to the rest of your body. Yeah, you got just, rolls. It's just two extra rolls with a nipple on them. Yeah. 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 You just got weight around they the nipples. They don't count. Yeah. 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 Ooh, that might be gotta, Theo Von. Bring them in. in. Who the fuck is that? Oh, shit, bro. Oh, Still shit. And you, you know his producer's with him. You know his thirsty producer. Hey, Cat Daddy, what's up? Good to be here. Brian Callen, Brandon Schauer. Theo Von himself. My Sir Michael Rappaport. How you doing, Cat Daddy? Tickle that nickel, baby. I brought it for you. You ain't got a flat ass, dude. Oh, I'm still doing squats, cat daddy. I just put a lunch bar in my car. So, so Theo, I, I've never met you. You, you. you got a lot of hairspray in your hair. In that gymnasium, that's natural gas, daddy. Okay? Daddy. Now, now, where'd you get that fucking belt, Theo? This right here? Yeah. This that, one? That, 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 that fucking, like, online? Like, how much is that fucking oh, weigh? I don't want to touch it. Well, look, uh, if uh, Brandon Showers right there wasn't spending so much money on his goddamn socks, maybe I'd have something nice. Maybe I'll tell it's you nice. this. Dude, this that's, 100%. that's real gold. Oh, it's 100% almost real gold. Yeah, that's gold. Yeah. 24 carats. So you know, that, you know that belt is fake. But that's fake news, fake belt. No, nah, this is a, you tickle that nickel, baby. This is real <laughs> stuff right here, man. And I'm out there doing the Lord's work. I'm robbing Peter to pay poor Zingas, baby, all day. You know that. Poor Zingas. All day, baby. I, I'm I'm uncomfortable. He's a Southern uh, Robin Hood. Bro. Listen, listen. The bottom line is the P, the what fans. What is the bottom no, line? No, the, the, the fans did not vote they this did. motherfucker. The fans voted. The fans did not vote. The fans, the fans who, voted. who voted. If, if the fans did not vote, you oh, made it. You bought no, a belt no, no. online Look for ninety nine point ninety nine. As bro. an impartial observer, no, the fans did vote. Real steel, baby. Okay, so then, well, let's do a test right now. Who's the the guest of the year? Like, ask questions. Do a test, baby. Do it all. Okay. As an as an impartial observer, the fans did say that Theo Vaughn. No fan said Edged that. you out. There's America no, voted, baby. No, they didn't. Yeah. You're being no, they didn't. red, white, and beautiful, baby. No, they didn't. Back. Look, so, Mike, you're being a little bit of a sore loser right now. Degenerate. Because, because it was... <laughs> belligerent, it was, sorry, wrong it was, word. It was Theo, he Rap, and like Chris D'Elia. Well, he's, Fuck he's, Chris D'Elia. He ain't winning shit. He was never even in the conversation. Wow. Now we see eye to eye on something. I, I, made the, I made... I invented guest of the year. I think <laughs> I was... He did invent it. 2016. Did he win it? 
2016, 2017. Before you, guessing, and then you came in here and you made a belt up for yourself, my friend. Do you have a strap, Daddy? That's what I want to know, okay? <laughs> He's asking you a legit question. And this Mike. thing's heavy, man. This thing probably weighs about nine pounds, That's baby. real. I got that from Vince McMahon. Oh, this is the ore, son. That's this from is it, Vince baby. himself. <laughs> yeah, baby. Welcome. It's happy days, baby. I'm the Fonz with the bronze, Daddy. You feel me? <laughs> On the fonds with, with the, the bronze. bronze. And if y'all now, are you blind? Because you, you, you want a shot at your Ray huh? Charles shit? You're moving like Stevie Wonder. I've got butter. This is real butter, and some of it's getting in my eyes, baby. <laughs> now, now, let me ask you a question. I, I would like to take a, like, do a test right now. It smells it's like, like an old blockbuster. Yeah, it's, it's test, smell, no, it smells like I, I used to go to spit booths when I was younger. What's a spit booth? Oh, I know Brian, what it you know is, what a spit man. Booth sure, well, I know what German piss bars are, but what's a spit booth? You know what a spit booth is? Well, is like I played gay chicken, but I've never played anything like that, Dad. A spit booth you know? in New York City. What's a spit booth, Brian? Come on, use your fucking brain. A spit booth. Oh, it's a oh, Vietnamese it, wishing well no, when you spit, spit into spit somebody's booth, butt. A spit booth, studio? Spit booth was the peep booth on 42nd, and you go in there and watch movies, and guys would jerk off. Spit booth. Oh, you went to a spit booth. Yes. He smells like a spit booth. He Man. smells like lube and hairspray. That's well. America. I smell like, baby, that's Aquanet. He smells like a blockbuster in Aurora, Colorado. <laughs> oh, baby, that's diesel gasoline, bro. <laughs> that's now, diesel, now, bro. I'll wash my legs with diesel. Now, do a quick test, like, like a thing here, like guess it here, and like, we'll let the fans go. Oh, dude, you don't, you don't, the fans did it, do you not? No, they no, did no. not. Voting works, You baby. bought that at Sports Chalet this, last Halloween. Well, this I did get it on sale. The, the, the fans voted, and he knows they it, and he knows it, and he has it was a special terminal condition. It was a legit vote, Mike. And by the way, he had We're doing stem cells donations for Brian this week. <laughs> and this tour, this strap will be continuing to tour America. I'm just stopping it by right here because I wanted to show Mr. Michael Rappaport what the strap looks like, Daddy. And if you want to hold the gold, you want to feel the steel, you want to enjoy the hour. Dude. Come and tickle that nickel on the fonds with the bronze, baby. And happy days what? are here. Again. Is he leaving? Oh yeah! Is he <laughs> leaving? Legit WWE rip, bro. Yo, he's got that shit down. He does. He's got it down, dude. He has the tan. Go to the strap. Goes through the rat. <laughs> the rat. Dude, he How just. How about his flat ass though? Dude, well, it would, doesn't uh, matter. Would squats kill you? He still he won. Fall asleep in the wheel. Oh yeah. Fuck Did oh, I fall asleep yeah. one time? This cop wakes me up. Right. <laughs> he goes, "Did you?" Did you see them? Do you know where they're at? I'm like, what the fuck? I have no idea what's going on, right? He goes, somebody called in. Two wolves were fighting in the street here, right? Two so, dude, wolves. I'm at an intersection of this dead town, bro. I used to, uh, I lived in this side town for a little while during high school. Fell asleep at the fucking wheel, right? So I'm dead asleep. The cop wakes me up, right? He's like, did you see it? And I'm just like, what? what? I'm just thinking, what was it? You know, did I do it? Was I involved in it? Who am I? And he's like talking to somebody else. The other guy was probably just across the street, you know. <laughs> and he's like, two, somebody called it in. Two wolves fighting in the intersection. And I'm like thinking, uh, we don't even have wolves in Louisiana, you know. <laughs> so how are you really out here looking for that? But also, shouldn't but you also be crying? Yeah, but also you have you a two wolves drunk fighting? driver who's obviously stalled out at a stoplight. <laughs> Hey, bro, wait yeah, up. Yeah. What, he's the worst cop of all time. Yeah, the worst. Oh, my the worst. God. And he'd be like, all right, if you see anything, let us know. And they were out. No oh. problem, officer. <laughs> see you like later. catching wolves fighting. <laughs> Damn Meanwhile, wolves. Meanwhile, drunk as fuck. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're on acid because they, they're, they're, they're fucking, yeah, yeah. they're Dude, seeing you know, Big Klopp, I, I used to have a problem falling asleep at the wheel. And we were driving to Vegas on a road trip. And he's like, don't fall asleep, bro. I'm like, I got this, man. And then I'm driving and I fall asleep. <laughs> And you know what woke me up? Wow. You know what woke me up? You went off the uh, side of the road? Him snoring. What? Callan? No, my buddy. Oh, buddy? That's yeah. fucking dangerous. I hear, I'm like, what the fuck oh is that? Oh, my God. Oh, shit. And I was driving, yeah. Wow. I, 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 my friend told me if that starts to happen, take the t- take your, try this, take the tip of your tongue and tickle the roof of your mouth. And guess what? It's never worked once. <laughs> try it, though. Well, I'm not tired, though, right now. Yeah, I'm not tired right now, so I'll be awake either way. Because <laughs> tickle the roof. I was like, mm, okay. Tons of things out there don't work. Touch yourself. Roll down the your, windows, yeah. loud music. If I'm put tired your head, enough, heat on I your don't face. Give a fuck. fuck, bro. I pull over. Dude, when I was young, I fell asleep at the, the premiere of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. My dad, wow. we weighed two lines in. 
uh, two hour lines. I fell asleep there. We went to a monster <laughs> truck rally. I fell asleep there. Ooh. I fell asleep at Game Seven when Matumbo beat the uh, Seattle Seahawks. No. I mean Seattle Super. When it's time to go out, you go out. I fell asleep at a Smashing Pumpkins concert. That's a great concert. Yeah, it was. I mean, it could have been. Man. I fell asleep. I fell asleep at the wheel probably at least forty times. I fell asleep during Driver's Ed while I was driving the car. The drive. <laughs> Fuck. The guy operate the 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 man, the adult with the license. Like you gonna fall asleep? I was like, no way, dude. Sixteen. <laughs> seconds later fucking dead asleep bro we had to pull over there's no music right dude i've fallen asleep everywhere i've fallen asleep um indoors outdoors fell asleep um Fuck, that scares me. uh um, uh no i've fallen asleep some really good did, places did you have those friends where you'd fall asleep they'd fuck with you i hate that shit like draw on your face a dick no we didn't have any of that dude our Take pictures our, dicks in your mouth our the vice principal stuff, used to kids. sleep yeah, in his, fucking you <laughs> our vice principal raleigh coleman who was an urban gentleman and who had a um uh, a i.e black jerry curl oh. Ooh. yeah he could have been black he was dark Jerry Curl, an yeah. urban gentleman. He used to sleep in the trunk of his car at fucking recess, dude. He'd go out, sneak over by the teacher parking lot. Just because he didn't want anyone to see him? Yep, and he would tie off his trunk with a little rope so it was about three inches high, and he would get in the get that trunk airflow. of his car. At least it's dark, sleep. though, you know? That's not a bad idea. It'd be hot. Yeah. Especially I, in Louisiana. I don't know yeah. why he liked it, but I think he just felt comfort in there somehow. You know, Probably maybe he didn't have a parent. I don't know what some of his issues the were. The Jerry Curl would explain a little bit, but. Curled up, boy. Curled wow. up. Title belt right here. Something Chris D'Elia will never have, dude. And he can have all kind of stuff. He has, someone said in his house, he has an ice cream maker. And someone said that. that he has a slurpee machine. Oh, Chris D'Elia has an ice cream maker in his house and doesn't even eat dairy. That's why it's just there. Well, that's that's overabundance, and that's rich people doing rich shit. Yeah, Someone bro. said he has four couches, dude, and there's a man out there and a woman out there trying to make love on a floor somewhere while that motherfucker's sitting there with four couches. Balling, Fuck him, bro. dude. Yeah. And he ain't a champ, bro, and he never will be. Oh, shit. And you know it. Come see him, Delia. Huh? Come he see him, gonna Delia. He ain't going to come see me, dude. He's too busy doing, you know, doing whatever he does, dude. Being rich? Oh, being rich. Dude, someone said he got a jacket made out of money. He made a bunch of, just made a, a jacket made out of money. You know, that's crazy. He wanders around his house hiding money probably around and then blindfolding himself and going looking for his own Dude, money. I saw Chris microwave a wad of cash before. Yeah. Microwave it. He's changed, man. When I met him, he was a different guy. He was gentle, nice, cared about his animals. Someone said his animals, he has like a group, a, a pet company that comes and takes them and he just brings them around for his Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> How crazy is that? He loves them dogs. Oh, dude, and him and Bobby Lee, this is a true story. He used to go down to Mexico. Uh, Chris and Bobby Lee used to go down to Mexico to get involved with who knows what, but they used to go watch Mexican comedians perform and steal their material and bring it back up to America. <laughs> How crazy is that? They his fighting words. Huh? And they would steal it. The, the Mexican comedians would be talking Spanish. They'd translate and steal it back to America. Oh, who knows what happened, dude? It's Who knows what happened after that? Things. I'm just telling you what I've heard. Oh, that, and this is just That's rumors. around the wa water huh? cooler. That's around the water this cooler. This is around the water cooler, but I'll say this. There's a lot of people drinking around the water, water cooler. Yeah, the water cooler's and deep. And Nancy Scott is Ali Wong, if you guys are going to the comedy store. <laughs> hey, and, don't out her fucking uh -huh. code. Everybody fucking knows, dude. No, don't say that. Huh? Sorry, it's not. It's something. Come it's here. Uh, Dude, how dare you not come on our like show? That. Get over here now. All right. Bobby, we please Bobby come Lee over here? just knocked on our fucking door. Yeah, Bobby yeah. has the best shirts, man. Last night's shirt was fire too, What's bro. Up, good? What's up, bro? First of all, don't don't walk in. Around. Don't walk in like you're. You know, you walk around like you're on hot coals. You you act all dainty. Why is he gotta be mean, bro? And, and why is your why are your pants? I can bind my feet and walk on your back. You want to do that? A guy came up to me at the comedy store and came and said, "You know, you're really important to me." And I never forgot what you said to Bobby when he was on your podcast, and and you said to him. You gotta keep going. Well, and I, and I never got that. Or what? <laughs> oh shit! Country, country yeah. there too, man. Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, wow. wow! I'm sorry, Chin. Did you put out the fire for the fuck boys? <laughs> 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 that's good stuff. No, that's, that's, that's good stuff right there, man. That's fucking. What? That's comedy, yeah, yeah. Theo. What's up, <laughs> What's up bro? Look at this. Fucking I'm doing his. You're cool. doing his. Wow, yeah. traitor, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Bobby's I'm a traitor. His. You're a traitor, bro. Uncles here, hey, huh? fuck dude. you, big shoulders. <laughs> hey, bro. Uh, dude, I'm right here, dude. I'm right here, dude. What, fuck y'all. What 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 what's up, dude? Be careful, yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot your right, name. I'm sorry. Out, I just want to say hello, man. Dude. Bro, sorry, be dude. careful, dude. He's got yellow <laughs> ass. Dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'm just thing you're doing with your hair. What does that mean? Yellow asthma, bro. What does that mean, dude? the wrong power. I love it, dude. Don't. Yellow asthma, dude. Theo, is this right? I'm losing my hair. Theo. 
<laughs> Theo, is this right? Yeah. Theo, hey, is this right? Bobby, yeah. Bobby's, Bobby's jeans, yeah. Bobby's jeans are three hundred dollars. Bobby's, bro. Bobby's wearing three hundred dollar a pair bro, of three hundred. Fucking, you can't guess. hide those bro, are Ralph Lauren I, jeans. Those are Ralph Lauren. Ladies, bro, we don't do <laughs> guests, guess, bro. Bro, you came back from China. You've changed, bro. Yeah, yeah and I brought my fucking uncle, dude. <laughs> He's from Korea. <laughs> I, 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 He's I, from Korea. Uncle, fucking chicken chop. He's from Korea. No disrespect, bro. No disrespect. You can barely even hear Brian, bro. Feed Brian. That's not true. I have a very strong voice. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Bobby, thanks for having me on your podcast. Appreciate it, man. Have a good night. You're next. Have a good day, guys. Your shoulders are next. Yeah, dude, go wash your face. Man, they crashed our podcast. Don't ever open the door again for those people. Yeah, for sure. Bobby Lee, looking buttoned down as always. One of his buttons is open. (laughs) On his $300 (laughs) jeans. Like, just doesn't give a fuck. He's so funny. Did you did you roll out of a couch? He's he cut his so hair. Funny. Plays video games. Yeah, oh. plays video games. Has a hot girl. They have a podcast. He's amazing. Um, That's funny man. <laughs> moving on. Just fucked up our whole show, didn't they? Great. A lot Thanks. of dudes up in here. A lot of the, guys. The real businesses around. Just so people know, we're in like an office building. Yeah. And then me and Brian took this over. First podcast ever being here. And then Theo followed us yeah. here, yeah. and now it's a bit of a shit show. But the rest of the offices are like real nine to fivers trying to work it out here. That's right. That's right. We don't care though. We don't care. We live on the edge. Haters we live hate. on the edge like a couple of Christian boys. Just Jesus good old is Christian one. boys. If you don't believe in him, you go to hell. I hope you enjoy a lake of fire forever. But you can't. I mean, odds are you're not going to influence Indian children, dude. I don't think a lot of Indian kids look at you and be like, "I want to fucking you know look like a French Paul Bunyan when I get older." <laughs> You know what I'm saying? French Paul Bunyan. Yeah, you look like fucking... Why am I, why, why am I French? <laughs> dude, you look like Paul Bunyan if he just drank champagne all day and never did uh, any forestry. That's what you look like, bro. Wait. Hold up. Why Paul Bunyan, yeah. though? Why French? Because, man. You don't know yourself that well? No. You got to get a better mirror, man. You're using fucking cheap mirrors. You got $111 socks and cheap mirrors, dude. Wow, bro. bro. Paul Bunyan be the <laughs> champagne all day. That's what fucking. you look like, dude. <laughs> Man, you got to get out more. New I decent need, mirrors. Bro, you got to walk past regular I need, mirrors. I need some new mirrors, son. You've been raised in a clown house, man. You got to get in there. Makes you just, it'll cure down syndrome, bro. I beat it. <laughs> you beat it. There was a lot of rumors in my town that I beat down syndrome. <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, that's inspiring, man. <laughs> that's how I felt when I heard them. Because I didn't start them. And that's one of the things that's beautiful about sometimes being in a small town is, you know, it doesn't take long for you to hear shit about yourself. It doesn't, right? Yeah, you get more feedback. Yeah. In L.A., some guy walks by you in the hall and like, oh, look at this fucking chimpanzee, you know, but you never know. You never hear it. But in a small town, it's only nine people. You know, we, you hear it now, though, these days, social media. Yeah. They'll get you. You get a lot of haters on there? Uh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I don't see a lot of it, but I'm sure. Do you? Um... I don't think so. I mean, I get, I get some stuff, I guess, but I don't, I don't think anything. Not really. I'm trying to think of something. It'd be tough to hate on you because you're not really. Like I'll get, like I'll get some hate. Obviously, one of my. Oh, jobs. you're easier to hate. I well, think. what? Well, you think? <laughs> I mean, there's just more. I mean, not in like a. If I know you know. But if I just see you, dude, walking by, yeah, dude. More, more than you? <laughs> oh, bro, dude. I'm like, moment. who's this? Bro, you look like a mechanic from Nordstrom Rack, dude. <laughs> That's the fucking problem, dude. You're like, damn, I didn't know uh, Nordstrom Rag did tires, you know? This dude looks like a fucking... Yeah. What the fuck, yeah. bro? What the fuck, I'm just saying, dude. Bro, you look like bro, you're you look like a guy fresh gets- off the boat. You look like you're an extra from Waterboy. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, you look, bro... Bro, you me, gotta get a better mirror, man. Bro, me, me. You got fucking cheap mirrors, dude. Bro, I, you and I have yeah, the same. Bro. You and I have the same mirror. If you nah. think you and I walk down the street and people focused on me, oh, dude, nah. bro, you have a mullet, and I celebrate it. <laughs> no, you look, bro. You let me think about exactly what you look like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you look I like yeah. I track. <laughs> mechanic. Yeah, bro, you do, <laughs> bro. That's what you look bro, like, man. That's awesome, bro. Bro, you look oh, like, man. Yeah. Dude, 
<laughs> you look like somebody that drinks keels at the airport, dude. You look fucking troubled, man. What? You look like you just drink small bottles of Kiehl's hand lotion at the airport. <laughs> the you got issues, man. Oh, you need to start seeing how people see mirror, you. Brother. No, you need a new mirror, brother. You need a fucking mirror. Bro, you need a sketch we artist. To, we, Shen can't draw something? <laughs> you can't mock, mock up a de- decent image of this man, dude? <laughs> this guy looks like the fucking... You look like uh, Lenny from Of Mice and Men. But if we're filmed in like... Um, like if it were filmed, probably more it was filmed in the Great Gatsby in Sacramento. I think, bro. Oh Fuck yeah, dude. Dude. Oh. You look like the biggest retarded kid in Sacramento. What? <laughs> bro, and that's true, dude. I, dude and I mean that, dude, and I don't mean that in a mean way. Either. No, I feel you, man. You're the one that beat Down syndrome in Louisiana. <laughs> But I guess not saying much. It's neck and neck. Look at you right there, Lenny Small, right there, bro. You look like straight up Lenny Small, dude. Switching this jacket, dude. You look like a, you. You're like the dude who, if everybody was escaping prison, you'd be like, Nah, I gotta, I gotta be up in the morning for breakfast. You know what I'm saying? Like you'd be the dude that's like doesn't get that everybody's fucking getting out. You know. Oh, no. okay, guy. No. Oh, okay. Have fun in here. <laughs> okay, yeah. We're done. <laughs> Jeez. Fuck Bruh, sakes, man. You got to reboot, man. Oh, you, you, you got to reboot, fuck, dude. You need a makeover, son. <laughs> I probably do. They didn't have makeovers where I'm from, dude. I remember my mom actually won a perm one time on the radio when I was young. <laughs> And some other bitch from across town said it was hers. <laughs> Fucking like, bitch, they know who won. I know, you know what I'm saying, up, dog. <laughs> Fucking they know whores, who won man. the perms. I don't trust people from I Louisiana. I an uncle, and he had so much hair on his neck, he would gel it down for church because he didn't want to um, shave it off because it was his hair. And it was like a thing against God. You gel it down the sides, huh? Oh, he gel his whole neck hair down. You might want to gel the. You're, you basically got a ducktail. Oh, a look, ducktail hanging out the back. I look like shit, man. You know, <laughs> but nobody expects anything out of me. That's the best thing. You don't think like, so? you show up? People look. You know, people ask, "Where's the honey guy?" You know, that's obviously been. Where's the yeah, honey? We look like you've been stung by bees bro, all the time. Why do I? Look, are you saying I'm bloated? Doesn't he, Jim? <laughs> do I look bloated? Bro, it looks like you try to drink honey right out the hive and a bunch of bees got you, bro. Wait, are you saying I'm yeah, swole no, or I'm fucking bloated? I mean, you're swole for sure, dude. I'd be swole too if fucking 200 bees were babysitting my face all the time. You look like you got fucking stung by a bunch of bees, dude. Bro. Where do you live at, bro? In a comb? You got to tighten up, bro. You're going to get diabetes, dude. Bro, what the fuck, dude? Come on, man. What the fuck? You got to tighten up, bro. You got that B syndrome bro, or whatever it is. Bro, you look like you hang out with rats. Bro, I look like shit. Bro, you look like the rat king. What the fuck you talking about? You're whatever, bro. You're a mullet. This ain't you look, a mullet, you look, dude. You look malnourished, bro. Okay, I'll agree to that. I'll agree okay. to that. I'm you on some like bad diet, dude. bro. But dude, not I, the cool Master Splinter <laughs> one, you know? Like you have no other choice. Oh, yeah. Like the one in that Christmas play? Like that one? <laughs> yes, yeah. not cool, man. And Nutcracker, the Rat King and <laughs> Nutcracker. King. Oh, you look like the leader of the people in Vegas who sleep underground. <laughs> you know there's a, a community underground? You look like they're the voice of the underground. I look like I run the underground Airbnbs. <laughs> <laughs> like they have to check in with yeah. you. Because you kind of yeah. got your shit together. Yeah. And now you have a belt that makes you official. Oh, oh let me see man. what key. Let me get your key here. And then you just have this giant fucking rat that everyone fucking <laughs> <laughs> admires. Don't pet the Playboy. That's what I'm going to make a shirt that says that on the back. Oh, Don't pet man. the Playboy, dude. Well, the scary part is, I start to think, is this the best I'm going to look, you know? Yeah, I'm going downhill myself. Yeah, I yeah. I got another year before people are like, oh, shit. Shop's falling off like a motherfucker. When Callan's been falling apart, man, bless his heart, dude. I saw him the other day. And, man, I don't know if they're not. I mean, I thought he was a... Look like he just went to an early movie. He looked like a senior, you know? <laughs> and it was just weird. I caught him at a glimpse and was like, oh, wow. Yeah, if the light hits his face right, you're like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. It's Somebody how- get this guy some jello. Someone get this guy a, a nice warm mask and some cucumbers <laughs> yeah, to relax, yeah. you know? Well, a lot of it's stress. I think a lot of his skin falls off of his body a lot, it seems like, because of stress. I almost, you ever seen that movie Death Becomes, sir? Mm. Where they take that 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 potion and that makes them stay alive forever, but their body can't keep up with, it, so they're falling apart. Like they have to spray paint their skin and shit. Mm-mm. You ever seen Death Becomes Her? Is it cool? 
Hell yeah, it's a classic. <laughs> really? Fuck yeah. Never heard of it. Death Becomes Her? Fucking Death Becomes dude. Her is a classic, bro? Dude, classic, bro. A classic what, dude? Movie! Death for Becomes Her? Yeah, for who? For <laughs> the world. Oh my God. Meryl Streep? Oh, I love Meryl Streep, dude. Well, Death <laughs> Becomes Her, one of her biggest movies. Dude, I'd meet too with Meryl Streep, bro. If she Legend. came on to me, not, I wouldn't do it the other way. But I'd watch her jerk off into a plant. Oh, wow.